And so uh, I think we're ready to go. And um, no, where is, uh, I see. So uh, actually due to technical difficulties beyond our control, we are momentarily delayed. And so somebody have a good story to tell? A joke, Justin, you have a good joke? One night when I was training with Bob, and this is probably in my first year, uh, he came over to train with me for a minute and I, I was not doing very well, but I had an excuse very quickly. And I just said, well, I'm really out of it tonight. And Bob said, yes, but it is still there. I'm out of it, but it's still there. <laughs> okay. Anybody else have a joke? <laughs> Basically, we've had to do a restart at, of the computer at Sensei's house. So here it comes. Here we come. And so some people didn't hear me say it before, but we will not have, Nado Sensei will not have a virtual class next Friday, the 24th, Christmas Eve, and we will not have a virtual class the 31st, New Year's Eve. So the next two Fridays, no virtual class. I'll send that as email as well, but uh, please uh, uh, be aware that that's the plan. And... Uh, I think, uh, okay, ready. Here we go. Oh. No, yes. Joel Riggs. Gosh, hello, Joel. Sensei, you're on, and we're okay. joined by Joel Riggs from Atlanta. Oh, hey, Joel. Hello, everybody. Uh, Tija? Tija? Tija's yes, here. Right here. That tree that fell in your yard yes. is called firewood. Is that right? <laughs> yes. You, you want some? Because we're not burning up here anymore. And we haven't checked our fireplace yet. So, yeah. 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 Fire, firewood. Yes. If, if you'll split it, TJ, I'll take it. <laughs> <laughs> well, I got the chainsaw. That's about it. I used to cut firewood with my sister up up in the Auburn Hills. That was fun. So I understand crazy. Susan Pence is really good at that. Maybe. Uh, oh, yes. No, she's champion. Yes. I don't think she has a splitter, though. I don't know. Yeah. We had a splitter. We were really fancy. It takes a, it takes a spike and a 20 pound hammer, you know, on a long pole. So. Or 15. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so. Uh, Oh, in the, uh, I'll repeat this before we finish, but uh, if you want to write about anything, your insights, observations, how things are going, uh, questions, uh, you've got a couple of weeks to, to do that. Lauren, they have the information for that, don't they? Yes, I just announced no class uh, next week and no class the week after, and I will send a, a, a an email address, which is basically my Gmail address. Uh, I'll send that around. Okay. Uh, what are we tonight? Core as an energizer, a healer, a responder. Okay. Uh, let's see. If you remember, I looked uh, through all the paperwork I have uh, to find the old core, core, core uh, diagram. I couldn't find it, but just to remind you. So that's, for example, a starting core. Okay. Core. Uh, as we develop, 
If we move into finer, the finer of a core can show. So the first chord is that like a, a, a rough lineage of it. Uh, uh, physical chords, what the people in the gyms are talking about, core work. And uh, when they get that physical plexus core, uh, the body should be a little stronger, a little more adaptable to the body things. Okay, so there's the sort of the beginning of core. As we move into finer dimensions of core, uh, then uh, Noah, I'm going to have you jump in here in a moment. We get, for example, the, the Chinese Tai Chi levels of core. Uh, Bob, could you say something about an earlier Tai Chi level core? Now we'll get into a closer to the master core. Anything uh, about core? Uh, placing the mind at, at center of what the Chinese call the Dantian and gathering your chi there, your energy there. Okay. So it's an energy source. Okay. So we're back to uh, energizer or energy source, okay? Uh, as the, in Tai Chi, as they uh, develop more, they become almost masters. <laughs> Anything about the core at that level? Uh, it becomes a, a place in which the two forces, which they usually look at as fire and water come together. Okay, and we have different names for fire, water. Uh, we could bring the center circle forces, the great he, great chi forces. So uh, it, the great two in the manifest have different names that we could use. But anyway, a, a finer uh, uh, level that has more going for it. Yeah. Yes, that's right. Okay. Uh, ha, ha. I'm going to try to jump the game, uh, I'm going to present a possibility here for, for you all to play with. And that's instead of continuing with this core and then a little bit bigger, finer core, and then a little bit bigger, finer core uh, that uh, we just talked about, uh, the uh, physical plexus core and then Noah's two levels of energy core a la Tai Chi. Uh, Atisha, did you want to add anything there? Did we miss anything just for a basic on core? Yeah, it's also considered the uh, like a bio battery. It's definitely an energy. What you're talking about is energizer. Mm -hmm. It is definitely a place that uh, can kind of collect and store key, store prana, G yeah. by any name. Yeah, it's a it's a it's a reservoir of, of uh, presence and energy. Okay. A good source, you would say. Yeah, great source. Yeah. Noah said it beautifully. And now when they need Lux out, right? No? <laughs> He's the man. He's the man. <laughs> uh, okay, I want to try to up it a little bit someplace here tonight. Let me get my act together here. Let's see. Uh, so instead of keeping it sort of here, which is okay to start with. We all start there. Uh, but I'd like to not get stuck for year after year at a certain level, like getting stuck for 10 years at a physical plexus level. And then another 10 years as, a, as an early uh, practitioner of Tai Chi or what, whatever, and goes on and on and on. Uh, we have to, people learn to, I don't know, cut to the chase, zip through this, these dimensional walls, they're not really walls. Uh, oh, since they would say, I just had to catch things. There's no time or space. Uh, a big jump for you. But anyway, we have to pick up the pace here. So that I'm going to, I think I'm going to try to lay that out a bit tonight. Um, so where should we start? Uh, let's. Okay, let's say there's a core there and we're just starting uh, cold or fresh. Um, it's there, Everybody's, everyone has one, but maybe it's been dormant uh, or you've been dormant or we've been so tightly wrapped up uh, that we're not aware of, of it. As we settle and open, ah, core. Now to 
activate it. Uh, uh, I mean, it itself is active, but I'm a dunderhead, so I want to start the process going. Uh, okay, uh, 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 Bob mentioned the fire water pattern. Uh, uh, for me, it's fire up and water down. As you get that harmony of an up down beat using fire water, uh, it starts to activate or show that it's there. Bob, is that okay? Say it that way. We can't hear you, Bob. Yes, that's it. That okay? Yeah? Yes. Okay. You could activate it with any two, so breathing, and then reference that that's in the middle, in this case, the core. Okay, so you breathe for a while in harmony. When you feel there's a certain level of harmony, reference the core. You could chant it. Uh, I don't know. We were doing before time, uh, I think, ah to the O, O to the ah. ah. So there's a sound vibration there. And that could be an activator. Uh, in the harmony of ah to O and O to ah, or reverse, if you like, uh, it begins to activate, show that it's there, begins to glow whatever the words are. Okay. Are we okay so far? Yeah. Yeah, we're okay. Okay. Uh, I'd like to get to the point here where the core isn't something here, but this line, here, so this is red and this is red. Uh, that's fine to start with to warm up and get a little finer, fine, great, cool. Uh, but I wonder if we have a sense of of the core as being a, a fuller. So if you have an idea, not an idea way out there or a core tightly here, but let's position it. Idea sends a note to its partner, the energies. The energies react back. Okay. And to keep that more here, so you don't have to range way out there about an idea. Here I can have an idea or a problem. Gee, uh, I'd like to be calmer. We did calm. An idea of calm. Help. And the energy start to react. And if you remember, uh, I believe most of you, all of you got calmer. Okay, so there's a relationship of the idea to the energy. We might call that body-mind harmony. Okay. I don't like the word body per se in that sense. I like energy, stuff. <laughs> Uh, so any, any other words, but body is to body kind of thing. Okay. But the big sense of mind body based on an original two forces, the great idea and the great stuff that followed that idea, the original or more original big two. Where the hell am I going? Uh, Instead of being over here, over here, having an idea, idea about a core, better than nothing. And an idea about the energies reacting, position ourselves in the, in the middle of it. You're it, you're it. Idea to the energies. And the, let's say we're playing with calmness again. And the calmness that begins to happen is here, okay? It's not, oh, it's calm around me, or, oh, I'm aware of little calmness. It's, it's here, okay? I, I'm trying to get us to the point where uh, the sense of core isn't this, that you are the core. 
there, hold that phrase. I think, I think that's close. You are the core. The core is you. And with a balanced core, finer level, the character is better. And eventually, finer and finer, you realize through that it's a self. Okay. Uh, so anyway, I'm, I'm trying to get it bigger present here. Anything coming across? Am I am I almost laying this out right as a start? I'm oh, saying Tisha here. Hey. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm hearing you talk about that as uh, the core as dimensional, it has a dimensional. Yes, way. definitely that, yes. And we went there from the uh, uh, plexus core to mm -hmm. the level of energy using Tai Chi as an example, to a finer level, level of energy using more of a master Tai Chi as, as an example. So yeah, it's dimensional. Yes, yeah. go ahead. Okay, that's, no, that's, that was just... When I'm looking at the diagram, the small red circle and the big red circle are not, it's not two dimensional, it's multi dimensional. Yeah, yeah so, no, not a big circle out there. It's yeah. interior finer here. Yeah. Yeah. And the radiant, the radiance of that, of that sphere is, is kind of pictured in your uh, diagram there. Yeah. And from that level of sphere, sear, uh, uh, it would still radiate. That's where you might, uh, people around you would be touched by your calmness or your whatever good quality is there, your mix. They would be affected by it. So, uh, so we'd have radiations off of that uh, affecting the world potentially, potentially. Are they blipping in or off? Who is that? Uh, anyway, open mic, somebody, where, where the hell am I? I'm, I'm, that's people joining since then. That's I not, no, no leaving. Once you're on your, you're stuck here. Uh, this is Amy. Hey, Amy. From Oakland. I gotcha. I saw your face there. Okay. Go ahead. Okay. Amy from um, Oakland. Yes. I've been working a lot with this and I think the process the way that I'm experiencing it is exactly how you've laid it out. There's like a, uh, the process I go through a, a body feeling. So I feel my body. I feel like my extremities and then it goes more centered and into this center point. And I feel like there's like this opening, but it only feels as big as my body. And then I try to be it. And when I'm actually it, it goes beyond my body. Yes. Yeah, I, I want to uh, uh, sort of kick out the I try to be it part and yeah. have us realize we're it. We this isn't here. some experiment I'm playing with out there that I'm aware of. And I read but a book about it. I have to ask it. myself, it's, I do oh. have to ask, like, is this me? Is this real? Is this what I'm, is that me? And then that usually is like the question that I ask leads me into it. Yeah. So it's not that I try. It's yeah. the no, it's, that I ask that yeah. leads. Yeah. Uh, and what I said uh, wasn't a put down or anything like that. It was just, let's pick up the pace if possible here. Uh, but what you said sounds like um, what I would call double checking. Hmm. Gee, it felt pretty good. Really? Oh, yes, really. And so that, that next beat, oh, yeah, really. This it's, it's, is more tangible. Yeah, it's not that beat, the next beat, <laughs> something. So, yeah. Sometimes I do find it hard to maintain in that space. So yes. I often get distracted or things, you know, and then I have to remind myself, wait a minute, where are you? Let's come back. So there's this yeah. constant like ebb and flow back and forth. Yeah. And remember the basics. As we open dimensionally, there's more juice there, and the juice can push. Right. And so it's no surprise that we're suddenly lofting out there someplace, okay? Or instead of more uh, uh, pumps on the experience, 
we have the awareness of it and then still awareness and there's that push and I get aware further out. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's why I keep pushing on, get some depth, get some roots, get a, uh, so, so that you're more here and you don't get pushed out so readily. If it's just a concept or awareness of, the push factor is very high, mm. okay? All right. And that's why I stress the awareness of it is just a part of it, people. Got to have this experience, the, the partner to, to the idea, the presentation, da-da-da-da. That's that line, the idea, kicks, sends a message, uh, our VSP, is that it? Respondez, s'il vous plaît. And this responds. <laughs> okay. So we didn't make up our VSP, the system did. <laughs> okay. But I, I do want to just add one final thing that, that yeah. like, when you said to give it a question or to talk to it in the not like there's an, maybe I'm aware, but I could ask myself, am I aware or am I it? And that always brings me back. So yeah. that the questioning aspect has been really great for me. Yeah. I try to do a similar thing. Uh, I kind of have more ingrained in my system, the idea, the experience. Mm -hmm. And, oh, I'm going to add a new rule here. The one to five rule. Amy, do you know what that is? Have I used that before? No. One idea, but for the responding energies, uh, we should hang with them, especially at first to, to really get good at this, uh, to five pumps of the experience. Five pumps, five pumps. So the experience is really kind of full. If you just do an idea and, and I, I'm experiencing, it's possible you're aware of an experience. The awareness is tricky. Uh, so it doesn't hurt for me to double check and for you the way that you double check. Because uh, awareness would like to take everything over knowing that we double check. So that's where I came up with the one to five, one, one presentation to five beats, five beats. And the five could be 10, 15, uh, but just to where it's really, whoa, it's, it's experiential, it's experienced. So one to five rule, people. You all got that? You jot that down? One to five. <laughs> it's not that the thank you, Amy. Uh, that the energies are are dumb or something, but they're I don't know what to say. They're a little slower. I think I tried to lay that out been years for years. Is saying I can think about Kauai pretty fast and start to get a scent scent of the of the flowers, <sighs> the pleasantness of being. On the, on the ocean beach, I can do that in a moment. Now to actually experience it, I got to pack my bags, buy a ticket, go to the airport, on and on and on. And so uh, it's, it has a different timing at first. So uh, don't think that because it's so slower, it's dumber or anything like that. It's just, I don't know, let's just say it's, that's how, how it is. The idea is fast. And the energies are, ah, oh, take a little bit more and more energies. Okay, okay. one to five beats. Is that okay? That, that sense? Yeah. Uh, and when you understand an idea or you're presented with an idea or you read a book about something, that's very good, very good. But you have to know, immediately without really having to think about it. Now, the experience of that, to experience that word or presentation and give it some beats, <laughs> one to five, at least <sighs> to experience it, okay? Remember the awareness is cute. It'll be aware of an experience, which is not the experience. It's just, it's nature, it's the way things are. Okay, so where am I going? What are we trying to do here? Ah, ha, ah, ah. ha.
trying to get I'm trying to get one thing, the awareness part here. I'm aware of all of that. And trying to get more of the experience, uh, to experience what is happening. So as those uh, presentation energies responding, starting to harmonize, boom, boom, that in that finer dimension that you're in, that it's experienced again and then it's experienced as as you as as you not i'm aware of that going on over here it's close so i can kind of feel it and i think i'm really experiencing it but you're close you're not it itself experiencing itself oh. <sighs> <sighs> Trying to think about. Let's go back to the calm. We had an idea. I'd like to be calmer. Uh, okay. And then it responded. And it's responding. It's responding fuller because we're opening more or whatever. And suddenly there's an experience of calmness. Okay. Not an idea about, but the actual experience. Okay. That that is now the whole feel. So if you were to stand, it's calmness standing. I am calm. Calmness stands. So that whole unit is me. Personal, present, an experiential fact, not an awareness about it as a fact, an experiential fact. Help me here, people. I'm dying. The holidays. This is, uh, this is Justin. What, uh, hey, Justin. Thank you, John. Thank you, Justin. Go ahead. The pressure's on now. Um, yes. So this reminds me of, um, of when, when, we're a body that's that's moving with a fuller center, a core. The whole body is moving in a coordinated, integrated fashion, rather than arms and legs. That should be so. Being is coordinated should within its so. space yeah. and with a full core. Yes. Uh, and maybe, like you were saying, there's also a sense of deep roots there too. Another piece, maybe. But yeah. So let me interject. Uh, so a Chinese Tai Chi format would be a certain level core. The arms are moving freer. Okay. A better level core starts to include the legs. After that, the legs also move freer. A little bit more of that, and you get a good centered presence where both feet and hands can move freer. So, yes, yes. I just want to get out of core as something within. And, and this sense of you're the core. As we continue this, you are, you're the core. I just wanna try to get that flavor. Don't know if I'm saying it well, but I wanna present the idea at least. So you have something to play with for the next two weeks. <laughs> if I might add, you know, I, I have the sense that if, a, if we're more fully present as a centered being, and our self is more fully engaged within the person, within the characters. We're more uh, fully present as, a, as a, a being, a self within the world that we're in and not merely playing a role, if you will. Oh yeah, uh, don't bullshit me spiritually. So, so how I see it is that, you know, our, our true self, our, our soul, our self, is like the driver within, side, within the vehicle, the person. There's the vehicle and then there's the driver. You know, If I'm not fully engaged as the driver within my vehicle, then maybe it's just a beautiful car without a, without a driver that's present. Let me jump in here. Please help so they me, don't help me out here. <laughs> Well, see, I don't wanna give them a concept of self as a driver 
they'll, they're going to love that concept and they're going to bullshit at no end. When you get core, self is there. When you have the character that's there, self is there. It's here. It's just, we're so thick. We don't realize it. We, we can learn a word. We can bullshit about it. But that's why we do squared away core, squared away anything. Because in the finer of squared away cord character, the, the self is there. It's there. And as we continue finer and finer, the self will begin to show. And that's where we're heading, where we're trying to head by uh, uh, going through the dimensions faster. So we get to the domain, which is really finer, finer here. And self begins to show as self there. Okay. Yeah, I oh, didn't. I didn't yeah. mean to go off on a tangent. Oh, I just didn't want to bring that word in too right. soon with that nice philosophy. It's the dry. <laughs> it's a beautiful story. Uh, yeah. Don't tell people that. <laughs> you know, I, oh, I'm the driver. Ah, no, they're an asshole with a nice idea. Right. No. <laughs> Careful. Better, better said. Thank you, Sensei. I. I. Maybe if I can rephrase that. How how engaged are we as a self? Are we more fully engaged or distant? Are we Let's not even really use the word self. Mm -hmm. Let's start with what we got. Let's be a Robert character first. Let's be a Nado character first. Uh -huh. Finer core. Hey, hey, prison. Hey. And, and we'll get to self. And when we get to self, then we'll really let self talk about itself or experience uh -huh. itself. So we got to be careful of two fancy words too fast because people go off on those words. Mm -hmm. See, since they made some mistake, he, he, he knew it. Uh, and he started to tighten up a bit, uh, throwing some words out. And, and people bullshit the words and they think because they understand the words, they got it. Mm -hmm. And they don't got it. They got the words. Okay, so that's why I, I, I do the same thing. I throw out some of the words, but... Uh, Oh, it's sort of a direction sense, but let's not keep bringing them up early in the game. When you're a weird Bobby, don't, don't, don't really bring up the word self. It's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. we're heading that way, but let's deal with where we are. And again, I want you to all move faster through this. So we get using that as an example. So it's not core, core. This whole thing is core. And the character in it is that level. And through that, eventually go finer self in the domain here. Damn the words. Anyway, uh, thank you, Justin. Yeah. Uh, Sensei? Yo, who that? Sean here. Sean here. Oh, man. Um, I, I remember you were one of the first teachers that I ever came across that used the word field as in, um, uh, 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 you know, a field presence, a field sense. And I, I think that that's what, what you're, what, um, when you say like one to five, there's a, uh, there's a sense of a, an embodiment process. You're, you're becoming manifest as a, some character. And it feels it's more authentic, genuine, and there's a fuller, integrated field sense. Huh. That's isn't that one of the reasons we do do some of those simple dumb checks. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, Brad, can you come up here a moment? I just put your finger lightly on my yeah lightly. A little closer. Okay. A little heavier on the finger. Be present. Yeah. Don't do the finger. Be finger or yeah, finger. Yeah. If he settles, then it's finger. He's I do the finger. Don't give me the finger. <laughs> anyway, uh, so it's a simple dumb practice. When I and it's radiating outward. Okay. Whoops. I'm straining a bit. So for this amount of pressure, 
I have to be a better level, inner, finer, fuller. Oh, this one. There. That was better, yeah? yeah. And he noticed it also, yeah. which he should do. When you're being the opposing, you should be doing it in a learning sense, not in, I'm going to screw you over sense. That's a different game. We don't play that. That's just to get feedback that you're, you're on the right track. Okay. This would give me feedback. Just that would give me feedback. It's hurting. It gives me feedback. I'm, I'm, I'm heading the wrong way. It's inner, finer. And those energies, those energies. Okay, thank you. Yeah. So we do some dumb physical checks uh, just to make sure we're heading in the right direction. Can I say it that, that way? Okay. Uh, Sean, you okay? Yes, Sensei, that's, that's great. That was a perfect example of that fuller, integrated field yeah. sensibility. And, and yeah. Sean, uh, you said embody it. I just want to make sure people don't misunderstand. It's not uh, uh, my Bobby body is going to uh, <laughs> embody this energy. We're starting to get a little wrong there. Mm -hmm. The energy experiencing itself, there is a body here that could be called energy body. So I don't mm -hmm. embody it. Right. That no, it, 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 yeah. it, it's an embodiment. In experiencing it, we could say there's an embodiment. I don't know what words to use now. But in the experience, it's experiencing itself. And in an energy field, probably going to be an energy body. <laughs> okay. Yeah. yeah. All right. Thank you, yeah. Sensei. Ah. Uh, and Sensei, this is Lauren. I yes, sir. Just uh, remember that uh, when you laid out the title for tonight's class, you had the core as energizer, but also as healer and yeah. responder. Okay. We're at the age where healing thing is probably important to a lot of folks. Uh, okay, at any level. Okay, yeah, even the core plexus level, we know there's a response because they all get better if they're any good. They all get better at their bodybuilding. They're okay. Ah, so we're getting a, a feedback. At a finer level, the energy level is better, finer dimensional energy better. And as it radiates, could we say radiate and yeah, radiate? makes its presence here. Uh, there's a healing capability in there. As we go finer in, finer, uh, the finer, I might want to change the words after a while, not from energies, but to a mixture of your qualities, whatever your color scheme is. We all have four. It's a good, good number to use. We all have four that we majored in and we're using finer dimensions of energy and eventually it's kind of qualities. And at that level, the healing capability is even better because the energies are more balanced. The qualities are balanced, therefore the energies are balanced. Uh, so there's a, a healing capability there. Ah, uh, we've had a couple of people. I don't think Danny's on tonight. No, he is not. No. Uh, where I'm asking him to go deeper, inner, and I have a, a, a sense about Danny that uh, self is not hard for him, far from him. It's he's, his self is kind of cool, let's say. To get to that level, so that level, self closer in the domain, and the radiation from there is really has some healing potential. Okay. 
Is that clear? If you remember, I didn't jump on Danny, but I reminded him when he was talking about his acupuncture uh, lady, who he really likes, and he likes the acupuncture. It's like, no problem. But his wife is a great masseur. Masseuse? Masseuse. Katya, what is it? Masseuse? Manual therapist. Body Manual therapist. therapist. Body work. Oh. Oh. oh, oh, oh. She's getting her license, so. Oh, manual. There, anyway. Oh, Jesus. That's nice. But the massage, I don't think he's going to cure his cancer. And although he likes the acupuncture, he thinks his acupuncture is great. It's like, good. I'm just not sure if it's going to cure his cancer. But I think finer core level in this case, self in the domain, uh, and that radiates out. Uh, I'm thinking there is real healing. Okay, that's why I want to bring you all to the domain level if I can, because great things can be done there, the word is. Okay, a variety of things can be done there. So healing. Uh, and for somebody who's uh, well positioned in that, in their domain, they might uh, be healers just being there. You know, where people hang out with them and feel healed. Or they have to, oh, I got to heal you. It's not a necessarily hands-on thing necessarily. It's just a natural radiation of balance at a very nice level. So healing, okay? Uh, if the domain is a little ahead of where you're at right now, and that's okay, we're going to head that way in future weeks. I hope we have to really. Uh, any level of core radiating uh, can invigorate, can help sparkle you. Uh, uh, oh, we knew when the people broke their arms skiing, who happened to be Aikidoists, uh, let a little energy flow, their bones would heal very fast. And it was you'd expect them to say their doctor said, oh, my God, you're healing fast. We expected that because they had some energy flow thing. Energy flow at that level is, is not a, an advanced, advanced core. It's just a little bit ah, an energy level core and flowing energy. Okay. You've all done, done the, uh, I hate the word unbendable arm, the energy arm. A certain level, uh, energies flow. Boom. Okay, we just use that as a reference. Okay. So at that level, energies flow and the bones heal faster. Okay, so it has that healing effect, has that energizing effect. Um, respond, responder, responder. Within the bigger of core is that law of mind to the body or energies, energies responding back and eventually also vice versa is a capability. Ah, am I all over the board tonight? Where am I? Help. Sensei, I wanted to jump in again. I, uh, I'm going to share just a little something that I don't think any of you guys really know, but after my first year studying Aikido, if you could even call it studying at that level, um, I was involved in a rollover car accident at 100 miles an hour on the highway, and um, they had to reconstruct my right hand. Okay, so after six weeks in a drainage cast, with a hand surgeon saying I might only get 50% use of my hand back. The only thing that I did besides see a occupational therapist, which I probably should have done, was energy extension exercises and weapons gripping. And that's it, yeah. that's it. And I have had and still have 100% use of it. And all I've done is exactly what you say, energy ah, extension and you. gripping ah. exercises. Yeah. And that's after one year of, Aikido practice at a 
university, whatever club level. Yeah. And for the people that are too heavy oriented, it's not just I squeeze and I squeeze, and I squeeze it a thousand times. Yeah, there'll be a certain amount of energy because of the nature of it that'll respond. But to know what you're doing to a bit of inner sensing, finer level of you squeezing. Inner, finer, squeezing. And then you can bring in law five and squeezing. And squeezing. And squeezing. But to keep uh, bringing in play the inner work outer. Okay. Did, did I say that? Okay. It's not just a matter. Keep training. Those are the, I'm sorry. Those are the dumb heavies who keep training. Okay. In bodybuilding, I used to call them, they train for ugly. They're training for ugly, you know, inner beauty. Boom. What would, would happen? <laughs> they get too outer. Yeah. And they thought that was beautiful. They're ugly, getting uglier. It's inner, inner. And you use some outer for reference. Inner again, more inner, outer. What happens is people have an idea about inner. They paid lip service and they go all outer. You're just going to be a normal semi-jock. Nothing special. Inner, inner, a little bit outer to check. Inner, okay. Oh, I don't know if I'm clear. Help, help me here, help. Where are we? Where am I? No, not where am I? Where are you guys? Help. Sensei, Joel here, have a question. Joel there. Yes. Does our body, our system do all of this, whether we're paying attention to it or not? If my mind is small, is my energy system still doing its full thing? Does my soul have a place to live? In uh, some degree, I mean, you're still breathing, you're still alive, your heart's pumping. Yeah, it, it, it kind of functions. Even if you're an idiot, your heart will still beating. Uh, so within reason, yes, that's sort of natural, normal, but we got to pick up the pace. You're saying when we tune in, that system gets enhanced. Yes. Over and over and over. Period, boom. Yes, that's the game. Inner development. And if there's an outer cool thing, that's cool, but it's inner development. Where we lose people is they do a little bit of inner, get some outer and say, hey, Hey, and they stay at that level and, and try to increase even that level. And we've lost them. I call it the level of comfortableness in the old days. Reach a certain level and you say, go deeper. No, no, I don't want to go deeper. I'm, I'm pretty cool here. Okay. Uh, I think since they mentioned a certain level rank, hard for them to progress because they're damn good out here in the world. They've Ah, ha. Ah. And to say, let go of that and go inner some more. I, I ain't going to let go of this. <laughs> I've got my club. I've got my group. People recognize me. I ain't going to let go of this. Because when you let go for a moment, there's nothing. You're nobody. Boom. And there it is again. But a lot of people don't trust the process of the, how creation works how to backtrack back to a more original, uh, they don't trust it. What a shame. Or they trust, some people trust it a bit and then they stop. Others continue, they trust it finer, 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 and then they stop. Uh, so what keeps people going? I don't know, an inner calling? Self saying, come on, Nado. <laughs> you can do better than that, come on. Okay, so since they had a draw calling, whatever you want to call it, he was compelled, okay? Uh, a lot of people don't have that. But do the best you can. Do the best you can and continue and do the best you can and continue. 
okay? To reach a level and you don't feel like it, well, at least you'll be better at that level, okay? Something like that, Joe? Thank yeah. you, yes. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Um, Okay. Uh, so we brought up tonight one to five. That's a good one to file away. Okay. One pass and five. Okay. Oh, Gina. Gina, you got that one now? Gina? You're muted, Gina. I am loving that process. <laughs> <laughs> We're bouncing off of, uh, she was doing some healing work on herself. And uh, anyway, said to slow down there. And uh, so I called her and said, what are you up to? And, and, and she, I believe said to me, well, I did one and nice things happen. So da -da. I said, ah, <laughs> you got to exercise a bit here. Pump the pump. Well, this morning I did one and it's mind blowing. It's just, it's, I go so deep. I just oh, yeah. wonder though, I don't always remember all the things that happen on all the fives. So is it automatically going into my core? I mean, am I getting better here? I feel like it. You know what I mean? I, I couldn't maybe, tell you right now the five. That maybe when up. you're in a finer experiencing and then you break from the practice and you come back out to Gina land. Yes. That you don't remember. I, I don't think that's a shock. I don't know if my Bobby sometimes sitting out in the porch remembers the niceness of some of the inner work that I do. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I know, because I don't always remember them all. And I'm definitely gone. So this yeah. five bumping <laughs> thing is great. You're supposed to remember? Uh, I'm supposed to remember all the. You're supposed to remember? <laughs> you're supposed to experience and carry that experience. You know what I'm trying to say here? That carries here. And of course, during the course of the day, you'll get pushed out of trouble, of course. But but the best you can to carry that. It's it's. I can carry the gist of it. I mean, the final. Yes. A little more experience of that, experiencing that, more of the experience of that should sustain itself for quite a while. The awareness of it will fade fast. Okay. Yes. If you're aware that you're nice and suddenly I come up to you and say, you're not very nice, are you? You may fall apart because you're just aware and there isn't much sustainability with just the awareness. I can break you down real fast. I'm good at that. I used to call it popping balloons. People just had a, an awareness idea about it. And I, no. yeah, <laughs> okay. But as you experience, boom, that has sustainability lasts much, much longer. And if I say, hey, idiot, you'll, are you speaking to me, sir? <laughs> you'll still be nice, <laughs> whatever. You, did you follow that? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So anyway, for so for real important healing, the finer inner dimension, like finer inner dimension, and the radiations, emanations from that level. Uh, the finer level, the better the, the healing uh, potentially is. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> uh, Gina, in terms of healing, um, see, don't micromanage. Yeah, we talked about that for a moment. Micromanage. Yeah. Yes. 
Sheena said something funny about she was in a certain way micromanaging and her system said, will you shut up? (laughs) (laughs) Shut up. Let us go to work here. (laughs) Okay. Uh, Where am I going? I was going someplace. Hmm. Yeah, don't itemize things because the finer it gets, your finer qualities now, instead of using the word energies, your finer qualities are em- emanating, let's uh, say as a group throughout the whole system. Because uh, we don't know where certain illnesses come from. Uh, but when you touch your own more original field of qualities, okay, finer and finer, more original, uh, then whatever is needed for a particular thing should be affected by this fuller. Oh, God, I'm not saying that great, am I? Yeah. Sorry, Gina, you're muted. No, I think you're saying it perfectly. Okay. And I like that you're going deeper with the stuff. Deeper. That's fun, isn't it? Yes, it really (laughs) is like a whole new... (laughs) I love loving it. <laughs> a whole new world. Oh my God. Uh, 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 we think we talked about this a week or so ago. Uh, uh, you did it after we did the calm practice. You the next day did courage, and you were amazed as you continued and deeper with that. The world of courage was like, oh my God. And there were things there you wouldn't have thought were there, and there they were. Yes. Yeah. And uh, uh, Susan did the same thing with calmness, and she went deeper with it, hung out with it, and she was amazed at the world, the universe of calmness. It was just mind blowing. Uh, okay, uh, so yeah, on the inner dimensional, there are vast worlds on the inner. Don't know how to say that well. Uh, And I'd like to keep the vastness of the inner also sort of like that, uh, kind of right here in this area. Okay. In this, I, I call it Joe size in that the area I can sort of swing a stick around, that's about the size uh, that I consider to be okay, at least for now, we'll, we'll, we'll see. Uh, you overdo the sides thing. Oh, sense it would say you're probably going to dissipate and you'll probably go heavier into awareness. Whoa, is that whoa? And then you lose the uh, of it, the, the activating hereness of it. Oh, God. Help. <laughs> Somebody say something. Help me here. Are we getting anything out of this? Uh, it's Mike from New Zealand. Um, I think you're putting it over well. Okay. Uh, who's that from New Zealand? Mark. Mike. Mike. Mark. Mike. <laughs> yes. I didn't know if it was Mark or Mike. Okay. Yeah. All right. Ah. And kind of uh, Mike, uh, kid, kicking back to the ruler example that I used with you. Mike. Yes, yes, yes. It's kind of a, a that pattern, but even more. The pattern was I, don't do an inch at a time. It's not wrong. It's not wrong. No, I, I don't do an inch at a time. I, I can switch instantly. But yeah. in terms of a, a process to let people get to that point was more what. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And I could slow it down and still do that as a yeah. Yeah. as a way of checking myself. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Fine. Okay, no problem. Uh, Thank you, Mike. Uh, TJ, help. Say something. Say something Chinesey. Help me here. <laughs> Is he still on? Did I'm he here. Leave us in disgust. 
Not at all. There he is. <laughs> ah. Right. What's your sense of that sense of it? That uh, that that's you are the core. Core is you, as opposed to oh yeah, I got a core over here, and I'm aware of a core, and what whatever that that uh, that as they can sense themselves as the core uh, through the character. Through the core, self should be clearly be able to show or be showing. Yes, yes, indeed. So um, it comes back a lot to, first of all, you use language that kind of begins to frame things a little bit. And then definitely you have to move into the, the way of feeling because th these are two kind of separate knowledge systems. One is the cognitive, and it's very important for us to have good cognitive, but the other is this more direct and intuitive. Um, it, it's not exactly listening, but it's a kind of listening. It's, a, it's, a, it's not a I am being, it's, it's just being, it's just, it's feeling, so we have to, we have to connect with feeling in relationship to uh, to working with these states of of presence. Otherwise, okay. it's it just becomes like uh, more thoughts and more uh, more concepts. So feeling, moving from thought directly direct experience, feeling. Thank you. What I have in my notes was. This two brains thing, yeah. I think it's being said there's a brain and there's a brain around in the tummy someplace. Yeah, it's called and the second uh, brain. This is science. Second brain. Science. Oh, science. This is, yeah, I, don't, I mean, science is not the final arbiter of two. Oh, dear God, God, no. If I waited but for science, I, yeah. There are uh, some that, that so go with that. I don't, Scientifically, I don't know anything more about this. I just remember seeing or hearing or something, a brain and a brain. I thought, oh, kind of cool. Yeah. Uh, what we're trying to do within this scope is uh, have those brains work together. Yeah. So this is the brain of where I come up with a problem or a question or whatever. And, and, and this is the brain that starts to kick back. Okay. Yeah. Now, I just want to get this brain, not to hold it to this location per se, but to have that uh, that a bigger sense of it here. Okay. Yeah. 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 So the uh, call it whatever we want to call it. We're often referring to it as center, which is the which is the English language. We use Hara mm -hmm. and Noah talked about the the lower Dantian. Dantian is a great word because it means field, field of presence or field of elixir. Yeah. A little bit uh, alchemical there, but it is, it's a, it's a presence radiance yeah. that I think one of the, one of the great gifts potentially in Aikido is that it starts to train or it can train that intuitive and direct knowing sense. In a good randori, you can't be strategizing. If you strategize, <laughs> you're going to get killed. Uh, figuratively <laughs> so yeah ah yeah you said something but slipped by me okay the pulse the 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 you know you're i just noticed from the beginning as you started to talk about core you were doing you were doing this action and it's a pulse because everything uh, forgive me, but everything breathes. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm okay. Yeah, I know. And uh, everything breathes. I had a particular purpose for jumping on somebody <laughs> who was pushing on that as the only way to go. Yeah, yeah. Uh, enough, we're not going to go into that discussion. No, I'm fine with... Yeah. Hey, I did in my early years a lot of breathing practices. Heck it's yeah. coming back around again at another whole level. Yes. Yeah, it's very important the beat, the beats of creation, bang, bang, bang. Uh, I believe their origin of creation probably was a breathing, it breathed out a great idea. And 
the great energies thereof. And it's, it's, it's continuing, still going on. If I, if I could say one other thing that, that really struck me tonight in your, in your dialogue um, is, the, is the importance of trusting the universe or trusting that which we can't somehow tangibly wrap our uh, cognitive process around. But that, that takes a little, that takes practice. All of this takes some kind of practice and yeah. just, just coming to it learning how to trust that universe and trust the space yeah. uh, between the one by two by between trusting the space between the two by and three by when there's uh, when it's not yet totally uh, gelled into the next level yeah. or next yeah right. yeah for common sense dealing with humans <laughs> the heavies of the world uh, yeah a lot of them can't even feel I mean, you touch yeah. them and it takes them five. Oh, you're touching me. I have been for five minutes. Where have you been? Uh, they, so we help them begin to feel and then settle them down a bit and they begin to feel finer uh, kind of thing. So we know in dealing with people, we have to go through this process so they can get to sensing and then a finer sensing uh, kind of thing. Yeah, indeed. Uh, but let us not get caught up in the slowness of that. Uh, we don't have the years. Uh, okay, it's, it's this maneuvering through all of this is much faster, not as an idea, but faster where the experience can be there also. It's, it's for both of them. The awareness idea, whatever, and the energy that's there at that finer being experienced. Oh, since it was fast, boom, and it, but it was there. It wasn't some idea. I believe God will save me. It wasn't that idea. Sure. It was based on how things work. Uh, what a beautiful God to make things this way so they just work. <laughs> anyway. Spoken sensei. Thank you. <laughs> ah. Uh, so, um, yeah, expand on your core, could, could we say? And whatever form you want to start the game going with, uh, whether it's uh, just getting a juicier, more energized, uh, getting more energized, it just has a basic. Ah, you ought to be able to pretty quickly sense, feel the more energy of things. If I were to do energy for a moment, Ah, my, my hands would start to get warm. If I were to do it for a moment, my arm won't stop here, which is doing right now. It would, jump. my fingers would come alive. I feel like I should conduct a symphony orchestra or go into ballet <laughs> or do a great technique. <laughs> Where am I going with that? Um, Everything is breathing. Everything is pulsing in that way, you know. So it's uh, you. You often talk about this as qualities of aliveness, and I always appreciate that. Because people think about meditative states as being kind of static or super fine, but it's a lot. It's even calmness has a great natural vibrancy, not an amplitude per se. But uh, but a, a clarity and uh, an aliveness. So I, I always appreciate that language when you use it. Well, since I said something, I'm going to go at a certain level. Silence. You say silence and then aliveness. I can't recall exactly, but he did mention that silence aspect. Uh, I'm trying to think if he added the... Uh, and it's quiet, it's quiet, and it beats. Yeah, I don't quite recall, so I'll pass on it now. Was it all calm and all alive? Huh? All calm and all alive. I think I remember you said that before. Yeah. Maybe in the lesser form, of, say martial arts, all, all calm. The martial artist is all calm. But in that all calm, he's all alive. Is that a little heavier level of what we're talking about? Yeah. 
possibly. Ah. Are we are we getting anything out of this? Uh, one to five. Thank you, Tejo. Just to remind you, it could be one to ten, whatever, whatever you you feel. Okay. Try to be distinct. I think a couple of people mentioned with the uh, awareness of something, and automatically the experience part of it in moving through dimensions of as the curtains open, so to speak, and there's a finer dimension, uh, of course, you're more aware of it at first, okay? Real quick, yes, it looks, it looks uh, uh, wider and brighter, whatever. Okay, now the experience of that. Something, some flavor of cleaner. And one to five. Yeah, there's a purity hovering. It's a, I hear the word hovering around. Cleaner, pure, one to five. Uh, just a finer, a finer sense. I, I forget the word, but uh, just a finer sense. Uh, like cheesecloth, but very nice quality. <laughs> but that sort of openness, uh, it's a better word now, but I can't come up with it right now. Uh, okay, so just knowing uh, uh, that quite likely you're going to be aware of it, but automatically, yes, and let me experience it. Boom, boom. One to five, minimum. Okay, have the experience, have the experience. When you get a combination of the awareness and the experience, and they're more balanced, then the potential is to move into the next level. Okay, okay. so uh, a slower form, but fast. Awareness, experience of that awareness, and, and when they're on sort of equal footing, Uh, who are you? Good to establish a character. <clears throat> and anytime, trading it all in <clears throat> for next. And you'll be aware of next. And then you'll automatically go, okay, I'm experiencing this one to five. And you continue, bing, bing, bing. You follow that sort of kind of maybe? Yes, sir. Anyway. Uh, <clears throat> I, I make jokes in the dojo sometimes, or used to, uh, where I know I'm a high ranked, uh, but that idea of a high rank, which is a fact, I got the paper on the wall. But on certain days or certain times of the day, you're going to kill me. I can't move. Because that's not everything. That, that rank, now the experience, one to five. And as that is experienced, now I become a higher rank with capability. Now I'm ready for whatever. <laughs> Okay, but you can't do it. It's just a paper on the wall. Okay. Just a reminder. Uh, I'm pooping out. Anything? Questions on any of this dumb stuff I tried to lay out? Uh. Mike again, Sensei. Yeah. Everything you lay out for me makes perfect sense, and I'm able to um, progress along my path in in parallel with what you're presenting to me. And it, it keeps it keeps um, the, a light on the path ahead of me, giving me more direction. Let me but, jump in. Before you continue, 
It makes sense to me. It's half. Yeah, I know. It's, it's, I know. It's, I'm, I'm not talking to you. Stop. I'm just talking. Makes sense to me. Good. Now, the experience of that. One to five. Okay. I'm just reiterating. I'm not talking to you. Don't, don't be such a soft touch. Jesus, Mike. Yes, go ahead. You were saying. I haven't done the five yet, though. Um, <laughs> I will figure out after class. <laughs> I, know, I certainly do. I, I do think that's an, an excellent um, reminder to do the one to five. It's getting it with, for me, it, for myself, I, I am genuinely happy with the progress I'm making. And, and it, it follows along the lines that you're teaching. But for me, the challenge, assuming you ever get back into the dojo, is trying to get new people to understand that there's there's as much inside as there is outside, or in fact, maybe there's more inside than there is outside. It's ah, we're going to be talking about the heavies, huh? Ah, well, because <laughs> ah. well, I th I think a fair percentage of the people that come through the door initially are the heavies, and it's 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 the tricks of the trade, so to speak. In Okay. And, and trying to find that. something that touches them. Hold on a sec. The better you are with you, the better level you are, the more easily you can read them and know what they can do and can't do and what you should present at that moment. See, that's yes. what the healers are doing. Should we bring Susan in? Uh, okay. What... What should I do with a heavy patient who's got a screwed up shoulder? And she settles and gets to a finer level. And she settles and gets to an even finer level. And then she reads him from that level. And getting great results. Okay. Yeah, totally agree. So uh, don't get caught up in what should I teach him? And, you know, you got your basic and you can stick an arm out and I'll teach them whatever. If they're sticking an arm out like that, uh, have them settle and add something and settle and add something. Come on. You got basic, you got simple basics. You got walk under pressure. You got extended arm. You got uh, all kinds of weird little shit. Come on. Yeah. Uh, but be a better level of you to read them better. Yeah, I think it's kind of important. Yep. Yeah. Uh, also, we don't want to get caught up into their thickness. Meaning you don't want to lose the finer of you in trying to help them a certain way and getting caught up in their thickness. Uh, what do we call I, that? Blind leading the blind or something? Uh, they're blind. Don't you go blind to try to help them. You're on something like that. Uh, yes. The better you are, the better you should be able to help. The better you are, the better you'll sense things. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Roy's always amazed. I see Roy down there in the corner. Roy's always amazed at certain things I say and how they just bubble up and out and stuff. Roy, you there? I know you're there. Yeah. Show yeah. your face. Yeah. Okay. Uh, basically, it's just being in a bit inner finer. And in that case, words come out, but you've probably seen a lot of cases where uh, the, the move I'm teaching or something is presented. Wow. Help me here. Mm -hmm. I can't mm -hmm. think of anything particular. Yeah. Yeah, it's that uh, all of a sudden it seems that the experience that you're in, a story just emerges from this that's perfect for the expression of what's happening there. So the whole system is integrated and it just allows itself to speak. And it's, you know, remarkable at times, obviously. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Uh, thank you, Roy. If we don't trust the inner journey, uh, to help us in the heavier, let's see if I'm saying this right, we're potentially going to get stuck in the heavier, uh, chipping away with heavier forms of doing things. Uh, I don't know if I said that right, but you have to learn to trust the inner is better. And what the inner does at that moment 
live with it. You did the best you could by being at that level. And if it's not good enough, then you go back home and you practice getting deeper so that if a similar situation happens, you're going to come at it from a better level. Something like that. Blah, blah, blah. Joel here, that's the artist part of martial artists. Okay. <laughs> uh, people, we're running out of time here. Sensei, this is Andrew from San Jose. How are you doing? Good, short treat. So, um, what we've been talking about for the past um, 30 minutes, it reminded me of a quote by Bruce Lee and I ran to go look at it. Do you mind if I read it? To you or if it's short fast go it's just it's approaching eight o'clock is all okay um not being tense but ready not thinking yet not dreaming not being set but flexible it is being wholly and quietly alive aware and alert ready for whatever may may come yeah, yeah some cool statements yeah that's a certain level Okay. If you don't do the inner work, you're going to make up bullshit stories about that. And you're going to try to do it and it'll never really be quite right. It's an inner development that manifests out that way. Okay. Uh, Bruce like, I don't know what degree, inner work, trusted inner work, and the inner work, uh, what? Well, help make the Bruce Lee that you like, <laughs> who says those kinds of things. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, Thank you, Andrew. Yeah. People, Fini, you all have a good holiday. Uh, let's see if you can do anything with this instead of a core here. It's ah, a larger, larger sense. And, and that's not something you're doing. That's, that's you. That's an experience, you. Okay. So let's see if we can shift the sense of core from that early form, which is okay to start with, by the way. You need to warm up and get things going. Sure, sure, fine. Uh, but let's, uh, let's see if you get anything out of this larger uh, uh, sense of it and being it. Ah, I'm finished. Thank you so much, Sensei. And happy holidays to everybody. And yes. Stay safe. Uh, yes. We will have no class next week, Friday, Christmas Eve in, in California. We'll have no class on January 31st, New Year's Eve. We'll next be so online with Nado Sensei on Friday, January 7th in the new year. Sensei? Uh, just a reminder, I've been noticing out here, uh, I'm at a stop sign, it's red. It turns green. Huh, 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 huh. And a car comes from the, you know, having gone through a red. And I'm seeing a lot of this going on. So when your green light, when your light turns green, if they're anything like the people around here. Don't be too quick. Wait a while. <laughs> sure as shit, somebody's going to come through. I'm just seeing this really being overdone. Dangerous, in fact. Anyway, just be careful out there. So drive safely. Thank you. And mm -hmm. drive safely and happy holidays to everyone. Thank you, Sensei. Thank you, Sensei. Thank you, Sensei. Thank you, everyone. Thanks all. Bye bye. Have a great break, Lauren. You too, Mike. Take it easy, Joel. Jack, I'll see you tomorrow. And we're over and out. Good night. <laughs>